Hey guys, Ken here, backpacking light. And uh, today, or yesterday I should say, I got the itch that I needed to get up to the mountains before it gets too cold. So, me and Anna, we stuck out and about a four hour drive up here to Borga Fjell. It's, uh, I guess you could say the real, the, the closest, closest uh, proper mountain range. Uh, to Umeå. It's about a four hour drive. Just lovely. So about some of the equipment I've got here. Um, I have the C to Summit Spark 3. This has a comfort of minus two. Uh, last night it got to about minus uh, about minus one, minus two. That's very warm. Just can't complain. And I have my, you know, what's kind of been my go-to sleeping mat now this year has been the C to Summit uh, deluxe ultra Q, I don't know, something like that, and just a really thick, warm pad, and that kept me warm as well. I really like how thick and comfortable it is. By far the most comfortable sleeping mat I know of at the moment. Uh, that's still relatively light. Uh, I have the Nordisk Telemark One, which is actually a, a pretty good and roomy one-man tent. I think it's about 800 grams, 850 grams. And it works for me and my little doggy. Now what I would say about it is that this time of the year, especially right after rainfall, where it's really wet on the ground, and last night was just incredible how it wasn't any wind, zero wind. Uh, so the condensation on any tent's going to be a really, really bad. And it was on this one too. And because it's a little smaller, you know, you, you can just see the rain or the condensation on it. And that's not the most comfortable feeling. But in most times, most conditions, I think the Telemark's a great one-man tent. And I'm not really complaining because I know any tent would have had that problem. But if I had something like uh, the Sodic Gear Mid with me that's a lot bigger, uh, I wouldn't think about the condensation. It would just kind of be gone. Osprey Levity. Fantastic backpack. Uh, I do like it for lighter weights. Well, I mean, those are the main main items, but I do have to put out an extra shout out for the Spark 3 because it's such a, a high quality, light, warm sleeping bag. For somebody like me, it's big. I really appreciate that it's a big sleeping bag as well. So if you're looking for something that's right on the borderline winter that you can combine with the quilt on top, great for three season mountain hiking, uh, and good as part of a, a winter kit. I think the Spark 3 is definitely something I could recommend. So anyway, I'm going to get back to my lovely day and hiking here in Borgafjell. So it's really when these kinds of shoes are the best is this time of the year when it's really wet uh, and it's kind of cold outside. I'm using the um, Ultra All Weather, which has been kind of the shoe that I've been using this year. Uh, during high summer, 
when it's dry I don't like them at all because my feet just get so hot and I can't cool them off um, you know like regular mesh shoes I can uh, just stop my you know dump, dump my feet in ice cold water and I'm feeling good again my whole body gets refreshed but when you're wearing like Gore-Tex style shoes uh, it's just not as as lovely because it gets so hot but this time of the year when it's just really wet and basically if I were to just have purely mesh shoes now uh, it would just be actually cold because I would never get a chance to dry uh, so that's kind of when I like to use these style Gore-Tex shoes and then when it gets cold say you know around zero degrees that's when I go over to boots uh, because these shoes, they don't necessarily keep a lot of warmth in, but they do keep your feet relatively dry, uh, which in that sense keeps them warm. So, yeah.